This is the TNA Wrestling September 12, 2024 Full Show Results Video. The show started with a match between Steve Macklin vs Hammerstone. There was a moment when Hammerstone counters Macklin's Kia attempt with a power slam. The action spills to the outside, and both men battle their way to the top rope and Hammerstone manages to hit a belly-to-belly -belly suplex from the top. In the end, Macklin slips out of a nightmare pendulum attempt and rolls up Hammerstone for the win. After the match, Hammerstone attacks Macklin, only for Eric Young to make the save. As Hammerstone retreats to the ramp, Jake Something appears by his side and the four men stare each other down, setting the stage for Victory Road. A furious Steve Macklin addresses Eric Young backstage, telling him that he respects him. Macklin and Young then issue a challenge to Jake Something and Hammerstone for a tag team match at Victory Road. The next match happened between Heather Reckless vs Giselle Shaw. There was a moment in this match, when Reckless finds her opening after hitting a satellite DDT, but Giselle kicks out just in time. In the end, the personal concierge, Ash by Elegance, makes their way to ringside, distracting the referee. Ash slaps Giselle while she's on the top rope, allowing Reckless to capitalize with her finisher, Wrecked, securing her first victory as a knockout. A vignette airs for former WWE NXT superstar Zayeli who is on her way to TNA Wrestling. Matt Cardona and Steph DeLander make their way to the ring, with Cardona grabbing the mic and complaining that Santino Morella has it out for him. He announces that his first match back will be a tag team bout at Victory Road against Rhino and PCO, revealing that his partner will be Steph DeLander. Cardona continues berating Steph DeLander until PCO storms the ring, and they team up to lay him out with a low blow from Steph DeLander, followed by a chokeslam to Cardona from PCO. Gia Miller and Spitfire discuss their upcoming do-or-die match at Victory Road. Jody emphasizes that if they fail to win the Knockouts World Tag Team Championships, they'll break up as a team. Then we saw a tornado match between First Class vs ABC. AJ Francis turns the tide with a brutal forearm and slams both Bay and Austin into the side of the ring. KC Navarro hits a double stomp on Bay on the floor, and First Class delivers a double-team move on Austin, who barely kicks out. In the end, ABC regains momentum, hitting a suplex on the 300-pound AJ Francis. Bay goes for the art of finesse, but Francis catches him, only to eat a cutter and Ace follows up with the fold, and ABC picks up the win. A vignette plays, detailing Jonathan Gresham's internal struggles and his storied history in TNA. In an exclusive social media clip, First Class officially challenged the Hardys to a showdown at Victory Road. Joe Hendry comes to the ring and is interrupted by Josh Alexander and Hendry debuts a new music video where he calls Alexander Kurt Angle from Wish. Alexander says he has nothing to smile about because of Joe Hendry and Alexander says he should be the one in NXT representing the company but they have Hendry who can't back it up. Josh Alexander says Hendry won't get a chance to see him smile because he'll do it after he dismantles Hendry tomorrow at Victory Road. Hendry says he thinks Alexander is upset because they aren't chanting Walking Weapon, but Hendry sees a sign in the crowd that says Walking Wiener and the crowd chants that and Alexander loses his mind. Alexander says Hendry just dug his grave even deeper and he's going to end him once and for all at Victory Road so the fans can see what a real professional wrestler looks like. Hendry says he has traveled all over the world making believers out of everyone and Alexander just sounds like all of his critics saying he can't do it. In the last, Hendry says all the fans believe and he's going to beat Alexander at Victory Road. Jordan Grace comes to Ariana Grace and tells her that Wendy Chu is not welcome in TNA. Grace says Chu isn't there and promises nothing is going to happen to her tomorrow at Victory Road and Grace says in TNA promises mean something. We hear from Mike Santana backstage who makes it clear he wants the next shot at the TNA World Championship after Victory Road. Santana says Nick Namath has done a great job as champion but hopes Moose wins the title just so he has another thing to take away from him. The next match happened between Ash by Elegance vs Zaya Brookside. During the match, Ash by Elegance and Zaya Brookside battle back and forth until Ash tries to counter a sunset flip, landing flat on her backside in pain. The personal concierge assists Ash by grabbing Zaya's leg, allowing Ash to regain momentum and beat down Zaya. Zaya catches Ash in an octopus submission hold but is distracted by the personal concierge. Out of nowhere, Heather Reckless runs out and pulls Zaya into the ring post, giving Ash the opening to steal the victory. We hear from TNA champion Nick Namath backstage. Namath says Moose had a chance to look him in the eye like a man and ask for a match but he complained on social media instead. 
Namath says words don't hurt him, but they appear to hurt Moose and also says when they get to Victory Road he's gonna hit him in the face as hard as he can. Namath says at Victory Road he will get the victory and all Moose will get is the road. Ash by Elegance is seen anxiously checking her makeup in the mirror when Heather Reckless appears in the reflection. The personal concierge offers to give Heather a makeover if she's interested. In the main event of the show, we saw a match between the System versus the Hardys, and the result of this match was the Hardys defeated the System by pinfall when Matt lands a twist of fate on Myers and Jeff Hardy hit the Swanton Bomb on Eddie Edwards to score the pinfall victory for his team. The Hardys celebrate their victory as TNA Impact goes off the air.